All right, I am writing an article for Athlon Outdoors about range bags, and I am starting to get all the range bags coming through now. So I want to do a quick overview video of them before I really got into the review process. Uh, the one we're looking at right now is the Everly Stock R1 Bang Bang Range Bag. Uh, this one goes for $179 on their website, um, everlystock.com. I chose a blue color just so it didn't look so tactical. Um, I think it looks stylish. It looks just like a, a piece of luggage other than the, the webbing straps there that kind of give the way as a little bit more of a, you know, tactical bags, as you'd say. But basically the, the Cliffs Notes on this bag are, it's a total volume of 1,600 cubic inches. It weighs just a little over four pounds and it's 22 by 11 by 11. Um, it's got this single strap that is sewn into this main strap system here. I kind of questioned what these straps were for, like why did we need them originally when I, when I kind of got the bag, but now that I'm looking at it, it does make sense um, to strap like shooting bag or shooting mats or uh, range bags or anything like that. You can, you can kind of stick them in here and uh, hold them on tight. So I do travel with a range or a shooting mat. So I think that would be make sense to slip it in there. But basically it's got this hard uh, polymer shell on the bottom that is, gives it a nice rigid platform. This is the kind of the same material that uh, a lot of spinner luggage is these days, like the hard shell luggage that you see in the airports people are traveling with, it feels the same. So it has this nice flat, this is not padded, this is the, just a fabric, just like a, a set of luggage. So I think what I would use this for personally um, is for paper targets, and my stapler, uh, stuff like that, just because I like to keep my paper targets uh, dry, so this would keep it dry, and it'll keep them flat. It won't get them all jumbled up when I'm working in the main pouch. So you could put, you could probably set your guns in there, you could put ammo boxes in there, it's, it's, an, it's high enough. Uh, that you could probably lay down uh, cartridge boxes, but I think I'll use them for uh, targets. And it's got these zippers. This, as I've been using these zippers, they've been getting a little bit easier, but at first they, they're a little bit stiff, especially going around corners, but as it's, since it's brand new, uh, it's getting better. It has these little pull tabs that have a hard plastic uh, rubbery uh, pull tab on them. They're very nice. You can get your finger in there and yank on them. Uh, like I said, it's got these straps here, both fore and aft, to uh, put shooting mats, whatever else you want in there. I guess, I suppose they also do, when you do this, uh, they create a stronger system for this handle, because this handle's tied into the same strap system, and that goes all the way down to the bottom, so I guess you're, you're distributing the load a little better, too. Um, same deal here, nice padded. Um, Strap, uh, shoulder strap, webbing, full swivel D-rings on there, and so we can clip them on, clip them off. I'm just going to take them off just so they're out of the way, but there we go. Okay, so the ends are kind of symmetrical, I believe. So they all have this webbing everywhere around there, so if you're strapping on extra gear, You've got webbing pretty much on all sides. So if you use those, you can get those to be uh, quick access without having to get into the pouch. So the first end caps here, I believe this is waterproof. This is like a, a very rubbery, you know, kind of a, a rain jacket material. So I'm almost positive these are rainproof, waterproof. I don't want to say that just in case they aren't, but I think they are got pouches with elastic pull tabs to uh, take them down and hold them. We got some pen slots here. I hope you can see that. Uh, this pouch kind of expands out. There's some elastic pouches on the inside there. For I think I'd probably put tools or some kind of cylinder items in there. The pouches are fairly large on the outside. I think they'd be ideal for ammunition, stuff like that. I believe this side is the exact same, but let's just double check. Yep, same exact mirrored image side there. Uh, you do have a little slip here 
between the hard panel that separates the two compartments and the uh, mag pouch. So if you want to slip something thin in there, I guess you could. And then the main pouch. So to get the main pouch open, you have to at least open these two straps. And we'll open this up. Very large uh, mesh pocket. I mean, it's, it's probably 10 by 10. Let's see. Yeah, a little over 10 inches by not nine inches. So very big mesh pouch there and highly configurable inside here. So these are all the Velcro dividers. So you have the hard side of Velcro, everything soft on the inside here. So you can put them wherever you need to separate out your gear. This one's got a center divider, and even the center divider is removable because you see there is uh, Velcro on the end caps there. The whole sides are Velcro. You have a slip padded pouch there. I think that's probably ideal for a pistol to slip in there. Uh, and they'd be protected on both sides. The back side does not have that. The back side is just the Velcro. Take these out, show you how big it gets. So you have uh, two, four, six dividers total, plus the center divider. Let's take the center divider out. Center divider has three sides of Velcro, so it catches it on the bottom, sides and sides. And there is your main compartment. It has a stiff wall system between the between the end caps and the main body, so you can kind of push these around. It kind of gives it structure, so the bag doesn't collapse on you. But you can leave that open if you want. You can put the dividers in there. Uh, it's kind of up to you what you'd like to do. Um, it does not have the pull-out uh, lift-out tray like the. 511 or the Elite Survival, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. It's just, it's just different. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, I like this single handle here. So if you're closed up, just a, it's a grab and go. You don't have to fiddle with the, uh, with the Velcro closure handles. So when you're here, that's ready to go. Uh, it's a very stylish bag. I like the looks of it. Once again, it's the Eberly Stock Bang Bang Bag, and it goes for $179. Look for it in an upcoming review of range bags for Athlon Outdoors that I'm doing.